Hi everyone, Peter here from Flow High Performance, and in this video, we'll be exploring a study comparing sprint training versus eccentric strength training on hamstring muscle adaptations. This study published in 2020 had the aim of comparing the effects of sprint training and eccentric strength training on the hamstrings muscle adaptations. So what the researchers did was they got two elite soccer teams playing in a Portuguese soccer league and randomly split the players into three groups. The three groups were a sprint group, a Nordic training group and a control group. All players continued with their regular soccer practice for the duration of the study which was a total of six weeks. The sprint group performed a comprehensive sprint training program twice per week on top of their regular soccer practice. This training program included unloaded sprints, flying sprints, sled pulls, and accessory calf exercises. The eccentric strength training group performed the Nordic hamstring training program in addition to their regular soccer practice. The Nordic hamstring program used a protocol from this study, although I wasn't able to get access to this paper to find the details of the program. And in the control group, only regular soccer practice was performed with no additional training. The study took measurements of two primary outcomes. These were sprint performance over 20 meters and different aspects of hamstrings muscle architecture. Most notably, 20 meter sprint times were taken before and after the training intervention and hamstrings fascicle length and muscle thickness were assessed. So what were the results of this study? First, let's look at sprint performance. As we can see here, the sprint group improved 20 meter sprint performance the most, which is probably expected since they were the ones who performed specific sprint training. The Nordic hamstring training group actually ran slower sprint times after their intervention, while the control group improved their times slightly. Now let's have a look at the hamstrings muscle architecture results. First, let's look at fascicle length. It has been proposed that increasing fascicle length of the hamstrings has a preventative effect against hamstring strain injury. As we can see in the results, both the Nordic and sprint groups increased fascicle length significantly after the intervention, while the control group did not. However, the sprint group clearly had a much larger increase in fascicle length than the Nordic group. The other primary measure of hamstrings muscle architecture that was assessed was muscle thickness of one of the hamstrings muscles. As we can see here, all groups had increased muscle thickness, although the Nordic and sprint training group had much larger improvements than the control group. So what can we practically take away from this study? While it is obvious that sprint training would have the most positive effect on sprint performance, the hamstring muscle changes were surprising. It seems that sprint training may be just as effective, if not more effective, at producing favorable changes to the hamstrings than the Nordic hamstring exercise. However, it should be understood that this study didn't actually measure hamstring injury rates directly. It only measured factors that are associated with hamstring injuries. There have been other studies showing actual significantly reduced injury rates from using the Nordic hamstring exercise in a training program. This study adds to the notion that performing regular sprint training throughout the pre-season and in-season periods of field-based sports is probably a good idea for both hamstring injury prevention purposes and for improving sprint performance. I think it is a good idea to also include the Nordic hamstring exercise in training programs simultaneously, since the Nordic hamstring exercise has proven to provide favorable hamstring adaptations and reduce hamstring strain injuries. Thanks for watching and hopefully you got something out of this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already.